welcome back to my channel. My name is Casey. I'm so excited to have you here today. Today I'm going to be creating an eye look using some of my favorite copacetic shadows. I'm going to be using the shades Sorel, Samhain, Enchantment, and the Gretchen highlighter. If you are new to my channel, I do have a series swatching all of my copacetic eyeshadows. I'll have them linked in the description box below if you're interested in checking them out. I am a Copacetic Cosmetics affiliate, so while I do receive some products in PR, I do purchase most of my shadows on my own. If you're interested in saving 10% off your Copacetic Cosmetics purchases, you can use my affiliate code, it's Casey Wilson. I thought it would be fun to create an eye look using some of my favorite shadows and show you how I apply them. Maybe give you some inspiration for playing with your own shadows. If you're not yet following me on Instagram, come follow me there too because I do a lot of swatches, makeup reviews, polls, as well as any news related to Copacetic, such as upcoming $2 Tuesdays, sales, new products. So I'd love if you join me over there as well. Lastly, I filmed this video a couple of months ago. Around the time I filmed it, I was also sharing my Copacetic monthly unbaggings and I had just started my Copacetic swatch videos. I just felt weird about throwing too much Copacetic content at you. I didn't want it to come off the wrong way. So I put this video sort of on the back burner. I'm just coming back to it now. When I filmed this, I didn't have many matte shadows from Copacetic, which is why you'll see me using my Viseart palettes. However, now I have a decent collection of Copacetic mattes. So if you enjoy this video and you'd like to see me do a complete look using Copacetic shadows, mattes, metallics, shimmers, flakies, anything, everything, leave me a comment and let me know. I'll have all the products I'll be using today linked in the description box below. I've really embraced my love for neutrals this year, so it was really fun to sit down and just play with makeup and play with color. This ended up being one of my favorite looks I've done in quite a while, so I hope you enjoy. I've already primed my lids with my Milani eyeshadow primer. And if you've watched any of my tutorials, you know that I am obsessed with the tape trick. I place tape along the outer corners of my eye to create a perfect wing. At this point, I could probably freehand it, but this is just so easy. Plus it helps with any fallout that may occur. To start, I'm gonna dip into my Viseart Neutral Mattes 2 palette using this mid-tone peachy brown. I'm gonna dust that along my outer corner and my crease. Next, using a fluffy brush, I'm taking this plum purple and dusting that along my outer corner right along the tape to really define that outer wing. Next, I'm taking the Copacetic Shadow Samhain. Samhain is described as a woodsy brown filled with shifting pink and gold aura shimmers. Using a small, dense, fluffy brush, I'm packing that along my lower lash line right along the edge of the tape to really define that wing. Next, I'm gonna use the Gretchen Highlighter. Gretchen is described as an ultra shimmery baby pink. Using an eyeshadow applicator, you could also use your finger or a brush, whatever you prefer. I'm gonna place that all over my lids and in my inner corners. Once the look is complete, you probably won't be able to tell that this is on my lids, but this is such a fun highlighter. I would like to have some of that pink iridescence peek through, especially on my inner corners. I'm gonna go ahead and apply mascara, my favorite IT Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. I'm then going to remove the tape and apply concealer. I'm using the Undone Beauty Conceal to Reveal Concealer Palette. I am using the shade 430 Buttercream Medium Light. Next, I'm dipping in my Vizier to Neutral Mattes 1 Palette. I'm taking this light nude and dusting that all over my lower lash line because I want my lower lash line to be clean and bright and open. The main attraction of this look is going to be on the lids. Next, I'm taking the shade Sorel. Sorel is described as a reddish brown shimmer. I personally don't see a lot of shimmer in Sorel, especially compared to many other copacetic shadows, but it has this beautiful satin-like finish on the eye. It's a warm, woodsy red color with a high shine satin finish. It's so, so pretty. With a small, dense brush, I'm packing that right along my lower lash line, right next to Sam Hain. I don't want to completely cover Sam Hain. I still want that rich purple to define the outer wing, but I want that pop of warmth in this look. I'm taking my NYX Pigment Primer and placing that on the rest of my lid. Next, I'm going in with I Feel is the star of this eye look. The shade Enchantment is described as having a light neutral base with a pink, gold, and yellow shift. Enchantment is one of Copacetic Shifting Shimmers. It's part of the Realm of Magic bundle. I have all but one shadow from the Realm of Magic bundle and they are truly some of my favorite Copacetic shadows. I know I say that about a lot of them, but these are, they're extra special. They're beautiful on their own, but they also make for really fun, really cool transformative toppers. Enchantment is my favorite one from the Realm of Magic bundle and is probably in my top five favorite Copacetic shadows. Using a clean fluffy brush, I'm running that along my crease just to ensure everything's well blended. Lastly, for this look, I'm using my Essence Extreme Lasting Waterproof Eyeliner in the shade Silky Nude to line my lower lash line. 
and we have the completed look. Thank you.